All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. I don't really have a crazy intro for this video, but tonight, uh, January the 16th, 2020, it's 8.15 p.m. Uh, I got a topic that I want to talk about, and it's kind of something that's been kind of triggering me a little bit lately because it's more of so I've been learning a lot more about it. Um, I'm not necessarily just doing a review on my radar detector, but I really want to get into how important it is in today's day and age. You know, it, it just it's just important to have a radar detector, not just any radar detector. Um, I'm going to kind of go over. I've had mine for a couple, uh, you know, I've had mine for a couple months, you know, me being Malik, I'm not really one of those people that am unaware of what's going on. You know, I'm not one of those people that just let stuff happen. I don't try to, def you know, don't try to not defend myself, protect myself, and just know what's going on. You know, my eyes are open. I guess I'm not necessarily woke, but I'm not asleep. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy. So, you know, and what do I mean by crazy? Okay. I'm going to talk about a lot of topics that might trigger a few people, and I really don't care whose feelings get hurt about it, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, some people may not find it professional. I know this is not necessarily something that you're used to seeing on my channel. You know, me, Malik, Maliko Boost Cars, Heat and Air Conditioning. But this is something that I really need to talk about, and this is worldwide. It's bad down here in Alabama, though. Um, everybody knows that when you're driving a sports car or a nicer car or a flashy car, it does not matter how responsibly you drive it. You are attracting attention to yourself, okay? I mean, the difference between driving something like a Camry and driving something like a Mustang or driving something like a Dodge Challenger or Chevrolet Camaro. I'm a Mustang person, but I'm going to bring up all the cars that bring attention. You know, not even just muscle cars. You got cars like Kia Stingers and Ford Explorer STs, those special edition vehicles with the wheel packages and the bright colors and the sporty appearance and it, the vehicles that look like they're moving fast even when they're sitting still. You look like you're going fast. The vehicles that make a lot of noise, you know, Mustang GTs, V8s, twin turbos, turbos, blow off, stuff like that. You attract attention to yourself. You're minding your own business, especially if you decide, hey, I'm going to have a little fun today. You're not necessarily driving recklessly, but now you're attracting more attention to yourself. The attention you've now attracted is the attention of a vehicle and the person driving that vehicle that happens to be suited and booted with badges and cameras and microphones. And this vehicle's got a pit bar on the front of it and light bars on top of it. Or sometimes the vehicle don't got nothing on it. And that's what I'm getting at. You know, I have a stash. I got a couple of videos that I'm not going to post every one I've got. But tonight, you know, I kind of learned over the past week, I've kind of learned a lot of stuff about radar detectors and laser detectors and the different bands used for different districts and areas. You know, we're so used to just K and KA bands. If you have a radar detector that can only detect K, K, A, and uh, X band, yo ass, I'm going to just say it like it is. Yo ass is going to be in trouble. Your butt's going to be in trouble. And not only that, when people buy a radar detector, they act like, okay, now I can feel like I'm more protected, so it gives me a right to speed. That gives me a right to drive with complete disregard because I can depend on this thing here. Let me tell you, it's 2020. Okay. First and foremost, I want to start with the type of radar detector I have. So I'm going to kind of talk about what I've got. I'm going to talk about my setup. It's not just a radar detector. So we're going to talk about it. You know, I'm sitting here talking and I'm looking at a green Dodge Challenger that I heard way across the Walmart parking lot. Hold on. See what I'm saying? Where'd he go? He parked on the other side. There he is. Right there. I heard them way down. It just caught my eye. You see what I'm saying? My air off. What I've got is the Escort IXC radar and laser detector. This thing is the absolute best investment, and you have to look at it as an investment. 
You don't want to get some cheap radar detector because you're going to be wasting your money. You know, you may can get away with a little $200 radar detector, but don't go to AutoZone or Walmart and buy a radar detector. You're going to want to go somewhere like Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? Where the real technology is. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not too big on, you know, the design and all that stuff. I'm big on the functionality. I don't care if it looks like a cinder block on my windshield. If it gets me out of every single ticket I could run into, and it helps me avoid running into a situation, then I'm all for it. Now, what you see on the side right there, Escort came out with a dash camera called the M1, and it basically just mounts on the side. So for a while, I simply just had the radar detector, and then I finally, so they came out with it. I said, hey, let me just go ahead and get the dash camera too, because if you know, you know, technically speaking, I've got three cameras in my car. So this is one, this is two, and this same system has a camera in my back windshield, which I don't know if you can, you see it right there, kind of right there. And that's what got me out of that accident with that 18 wheeler when I had the silver Mustang that I missed so dearly. Um, Escort IXC, you don't have to buy an $800, $700 radar detector, but it needs to be at least $300. I mean, somewhere close to 300, but try to stay. And the reason I say that is because, you know, they put more money into its ability to pick up bands earlier, give you earlier warnings, filter out false alerts. Because I'm going to tell you, a radar detector, you can buy the wrong one and it be what's called a new car detector. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you pass by a car or if you're driving a car that has what Ford calls BLIS, B-L-I-S, Blind Spot Information System, you know that little orange light on the mirror? and the pre-collision assist and the collision avoidance and the parking sensors that are positioned around the vehicles and the, um, the onboard telematic systems. And anytime you pass by, you can end up being a security system detector. You know what I'm saying? You pass by a gas station and every time you pass by gas stations, that thing goes off just loud as it can go. I can pass by every single gas station in the entire world and my radar detector will not go off. You know why? Because it filters out false alerts. In fact, it doesn't even set it off. Um, the one thing I love about the Escort IXC though is, or Escort line, and technically speaking, Escort and the people that make my dash camera, they're the, it's kind of like a parent company, kind of like Toyota and Lexus, Ford and Lincoln. You know, they're made by the same people. S Cobra is my dash cam. Escort is the, it's the, all the same technology, may not necessarily be the same voices. But you need to do your research. Don't go buy a radar detector that I have just because I have it, because you're gonna need one that, that you know is going to defy the odds of your district, of your area, of what your jur police jurisdictions and departments and troopers and stuff. You need to get one that's going to battle them. You know, and another thing, when you get one, shut up about it. You, you know what I'm saying? There's things in some places, radar detectors and dash cameras are not legal. And this is why it's triggering me. Everybody wants to say, oh, just don't break the law. Oh, just don't speed. Let me ask you a question. Do you drive the speed limit all the time? Have you ever ran a yellow light? Have you ever ran a yellow, a red light? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever caught yourself following somebody too closely? Everybody wants to act like they're so perfect. You're not perfect. I'm going to bring you to reality. Back to life. Hello. Back to reality. I'm going to bring you back. You're not perfect. And I'm going to just say it like it is to be truth be told. Depending on what color you are, you can be an even bigger eye catcher. I'm not going to go too far in detail with what I just said you get the picture you know what i'm saying and this is where the cameras come in because if they realize they don't have a battle with you when it comes to speeding or necessarily reasonable and prudent speeding because a lot of times a cop will come up with the excuse they don't they can't tell you how fast you're going because sometimes cops will make up numbers to print out on that ticket you need to have a radar and laser detector that is guaranteed to pick it up and that's when you start taking that crap to court. Because when they stop trying, they start trying to pull that BS out the air, they start snatching stuff out the air. That's called incrimination. You see what I'm saying? Protect yourself. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter. 
gay, straight, black, white, yellow, orange, green. It doesn't matter. When you open your eyes and you realize that the police are nothing but a revenue generator for the government, they do have a quota they have to meet. My eyes are getting big. They do have a quota they have to meet. How the hell do you think they pay for them brand new chargers and them brand new explorers? I mean, if all you got to do, just go to the nearest car lot and pick out a mid-trim Dodge Charger. You know, some of them have the V8s in them. Some police departments, I know for a fact around here, I know for a fact Weaver has it because I used to do their air conditioning. Weaver, Alabama, I know y'all got Hemis in those chargers. Lincoln Police Department, one of your cops decided he was going to lift the hood up on his car because we was at a car meet. And I saw more than six spark plugs in that engine. I ain't stupid. I just look like it. And I shut up like I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? Until it's time. Just like when I got hit by that 18-wheeler and I let him think he was going to get away. You hear me? I let him think he was going to get away with lying until I pulled that dash cam out. Sometimes you just got to let people think. Let people assume because you know what that does. But what I really want to get into now that I've kind of vented a little bit. You have to understand that the police are not necessarily your friend. You see what I'm saying? You have a group of people on this side that say, yeah, they have unmarked vehicles and un, un, unreflectful vehicles or non-reflective vehicles because it's, e it's easier for them to, you know, confuse somebody that's actually committing a crime. Yes, that's true. But when there aren't any crimes necessarily being committed, because crimes aren't being committed all the time. People drive all the time. That's the easiest way for them to bring in revenue, and that's what you have to understand. So what do they do? When it gets dark outside and that sun goes away, I'm going to roll a clip, and I'm going to show you what they do. And I'm going to show you one more thing. You know, you for those of you that know about radar detectors, K, 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 A, X-Band, which X-Band ain't really, I've, I've never really popped off on an X-Band. But a lot of radar detectors like the Escort IXC, you have things like, number one, I've been sitting still for probably 10 minutes, so it went into a sleep mode. It's still on, but it's went into a power saving mode until it detects I start moving. This one right here has got a GPS built into it. So it tells me how, it's kind of like a heads up display thing too. So it tells me how fast I'm going, whether or not it's connected to my phone or not. That's another thing. This one connects to my phone. It's got a it's got an app on the app store and it communicates through Bluetooth. So I get alerts on the radar detector. Number one up here. OK, there's a green light down here, which I'm going to try to you see it right there. There's a green light right there. You see my finger kind of going over it. There's that green light down there. What happens when it picks up on a, any type of radar alert or maybe even a speed camera? It can even detect when there's a speed trap. It gives you all these things. So you want one that's going to uh, warn you about every speed detecting device because in some places, yeah, you think a speed camera or a red light camera is not that important until you say, hey, I don't stop for yellow lights, but now you're coming up on a red light or you're coming up on a city or a state that's got red light cameras. And you didn't know about it because you bought some cheap no-blow radar detector. And all you wanted to do was be able to detect police. Let me tell you something, buddy. The police can't be everywhere, and they know that. So what they do is they put stuff up around the city, around lights, around light poles, facial recognition, tag scanners. That's another thing. Those police cars that you're driving by, you you, you wonder how, the, how, how quickly they can pick up that you got an expired tag or you're driving around with no driver's license or you got something on you. A lot of times the government ties stuff to a tag. That's how they find stolen vehicles, but that's also how they nitpick. You two days over your expired tag, the cop may not have even been paying attention to that. And you know, cops really don't actually ride around looking for stuff like that. Some, some of them do, you hear me? They got scanners on those vehicles. All right, they're just driving mind in their own business or maybe they're sitting in the parking lot and you go by them. You know how I know this? Because I've been inside the Calhoun County EMA Towers. I did their air conditioning. And I was in one of those offices changing the filters. And next thing I know, you know, doing a maintenance on their system, cleaning it up, everything, make sure it's run right. And I'm just listening. You know, I'm one of those people that I won't let you know I'm listening, but I'm listening. I don't care how private it is. I don't care if I get in trouble for it. This is the type of stuff that can be used against the public, so it needs to be exposed to the public, okay? 
the computer in that office was calling out everything wrong with the person associated with that tag. It called out expired tag, no insurance, no driver's license. I'm just sitting there. I was shocked, but I wasn't. It's feeding it, the car, the car, the car, the, the system on the car is what's calling it out. So now the officer, oh my God. Sonny, Mustang. So now the officer is alert to, okay, wait a minute. Now I need to flip my lights on. I need to stop this vehicle. I need to, I need to dig and I need to ask a whole bunch of questions and make them answer into these charges. You hear me? Do you see what I'm getting at? Not only that, okay, they're going to sit off to the side of the road at nighttime with the lights off. Some of them vehicles don't have reflectors on them. You know, cops are supposed to be people that help and they serve the community and they protect, but that's not their only job. And until you grow up like an adult and acknowledge the fact that the police ain't your friend, you're going to keep getting tickets. You need to avoid the police. You need to know when you're approaching a cop when you don't damn see it or them you know what i'm saying you need to know when you're going over an overpass if there's three tahoes sitting up there that you can't see because a lot of times you'll go over one of those overpasses on the interstate and you pass that overpass and you're looking forward they're sitting on their own ramp and you didn't even know it they're sitting there with those radar detect those radars and those lasers on and those radars pointing right at you as soon as you cross you ain't gonna react fast enough but if you have a radar detector that's detecting that crap more than a half a mile down the road, and the closer you get to it, the faster and louder that thing starts beeping. Do you see what I'm getting at? You want one that's, that's going to be able to tell you how fast you're coming up on one. In fact, some of them can point an arrow. It's got an arrow on the screen or somewhere on that radar detector that's saying you're being, you're being hit kind of from the right. You're being hit from behind. You're being hit from the left. You're being hit from in front. You know, some of these cars have same lane radar detection. Three lane radar detection. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, they can be driving now and tell how fast you're going because it kind of bounces it off of how fast the cop is going. And it bounces it off of the distance between you and that car. Are you gaining distance? Are you losing distance? How fast did, did you pass him? You'll be driving. You have to look for things like how low is that Tahoe sitting? We all know Tahoes don't sit low. We all know Ford Explorers don't sit low. You see what I'm saying? You look at that Dodge Charger and think, man, that Dodge Charger doesn't have the word Charger written on the back of it. Man, I don't remember the Ford Explorer having a box with black writing on the back of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to seeing the words Limited, XLT, Platinum, Sport. No, you see that black badge that you see on the Crown Victoria that says Police Interceptor. You see them super dark tinted windows that you cannot see through. You see those small antennas on the top of it. You know, they ain't got them big long antennas no more. You see these little small, not necessarily shark fins, but they look like cylinders, you know, circular cylinders on the top. You see that black mirror. You know what I'm saying? You start noticing this is when it, then now you need to, now you've got to get to a point where you know your cars. You know what I'm saying? If all else fails, you got to depend on what that vehicle looks like, you know? And another thing, Ford kind of designs those Explorers. I mean, by God, if you've ever looked at an Explorer ST or an Explorer Sport, didn't you think it was a cop until you got up on it and realized it wasn't a cop? That's another thing. They don't, they don't necessarily design those vehicles so that you can easily differentiate. Now, Chevrolet, Chevrolet's got a lot of chrome and stuff on their civilian vehicles, but that Ford Explorer Sport, black grill. Just about every new Ford vehicle you can get nowadays, black grill. You know, they're even bringing a few. But I'm not trying to get off into it, but now I'm going to show you a couple videos. You know, the earth, it's just you need to protect yourself. You know, I'm not necessarily doing necessarily just kind of a review on this radar detector, but it, it's kind of going to be a, you can see how clear the Escort M1 video is. You know, it shoots in 1080p. I think it's 30 feet per second. And then um, you can see early alerts. You can see the different types of alerts I get. I mean, down here in Anniston, Alabama, we have this thing called the 431 bypass. And Anniston likes to sit at a certain spot on that bypass. 
and you cannot see them until and it's like a six percent grade i mean it's it's steep enough to have a runaway truck ramp on it which i can get it's dangerous but they sit at the middle to the bottom of that hill where your car has so much gravity and momentum pulling on it you're gonna have to ride your brakes down that hill and they know that people are not gonna do that they know people are gonna come strolling down that hill doing 10 over the limit which isn't necessarily detrimental but you're gonna get a ticket for it they're gonna sit right there and they're gonna be facing up at you and they're waiting for you to come down. And, 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 and when you get to that spot, there's trees all the way out to almost the end of the road. You pass them trees and you'll be looking at a Ford Explorer sitting right there. Now, that's where you can get confused at. You know, this the Escort radar detectors and the S-Cobras and stuff, you know, they got a Max 360. They got a step below that. You just need to do your research. I mean, there's other brands out here like the uh, Uniden, R1, R3, and R7. Um you need to get one that's going to be easy to operate because mine mine's got the, the escorts they got buttons on the top of it in fact I'll so i put a new on my pinky i'm walking with my christian louboutin bling i'm smoking more on the shot and i feel the city i might take off on you guys and go away to venus i'm a star so i put a new on my pinky i'm walking with my christian louboutin bling i'm smoking more on the shot and i feel the city i'm in uranus right now I see the demon. I too back there in the cellar in my dreaming. Say I ain't dealing with your dog, I'm going a different way. I broke up with my red bone, I went the Milky Way. I'm riding in a Somebody explain to me what this is. This cop sitting right here at the end of somebody's driveway. Hmm. Somebody turn right there. I'm over here driving through this little place down here. You know, an auction box from Walmart. And I see that red light going off, and I hear it say pop. And I'm like, where's the cop? See, here it go. And I, there he is right there. Right there. There he is right there. <laughs> Very low. Pop.
over speed limit. Aha! Pop! See there? That's him sitting right there in the middle of the road. That's where I was getting that pop from. That was him. That's ours. Kids got play cat. Bump the villain and shit to say back to the kids who play them. I ain't here to save the fucking children. But a fun kid out of a hundred million who are going through a struggle feels and it relates. That's great. It's Maybach, Russell Wilson falling right back in the trap. Turn up the. Yep, that's that cop down there using his pop radar. So let's go look. Turn left. Look at him. Look at him. Sitting right there, boy. He got his lights on, though. Yep, there you go. Buttons on top of it, you know, like you can mute signals and stuff like that. Um, you can lock out signals. A lot of times you can turn the volume up and down. Which. So that's the volume. Until, like I said, you can turn the volume up and down on it. Um, Full dark. You can go dark mode. Minimum, medium, maximum. You know, that's for the brightness. Auto. Or you can have it to automatically adjust, kind of like the lights do on your car. Automatic headlights. Auto, no, X. A lot of times, it's best to leave auto, it on. Auto, low, K, highway. You know, you auto. want it to be on auto, because if you're driving on the highway, you're driving faster on the highway. So it's going to pick up bands faster, you know. But if you're driving in the city, you don't want this thing to be giving you an alert for two miles and you don't see a cop, so you think it's a false alert. Let me tell you something. If you get an alert on the Escort IXC or any of the Escort radar detectors, do not ignore it. Don't ignore it. Even if, you, even if you're running into a speed sign, let me tell you, this thing will automatically, sometimes it may go off. Sometimes it may go off at such a high frequency, but it'll filter it out once it realizes that it's a speed sign. Or maybe it'll filter it out once it realizes somebody's blind spot system is bouncing off your car when you're approaching their blind spot. Very rarely, I don't think I've ever had this thing set off by somebody's blind spot. But if it did, what it'll do is it'll gray it out. It'll gray it out right here. But it'll still show that it's receiving an alert, but it won't sound off and that light won't be flashing red. It'll still give you the alert on the phone, though. You know, and sometimes if you get an alert, even whether it's false or whether it's real, you can still filter out the, the, the alert. So what you do is, instead of reaching all the way up there, you know, where it's mounted at, it's got this nice little easy suction cup right here, and you can just pull it down. Um, one thing to note, you can actually have the radar detector running without the camera, but you can't have the camera running without the radar detector running. That camera has to be hooked up to the radar detector. That's one uh, disclaimer about the Escort. But down here is its little plug right here. So it comes with a little plug that you can plug in. It looks like an ethernet cable that plugs in here. Um, that's your main power source. And then it bounces it off into this. 
you can actually take this whole thing out. You know, the SD card kind of sits right there for it. And then uh, you can actually plug it into your computer. You can take the whole camera out. But there's this button right here that says mute. So if you're getting a signal, you hit that mute button and you can either lock out the signal or unlock the signal. So like if you're going approaching a speed sign and it just so happened to not mute the signal and you're like, oh, it's just a speed sign. Let me tell you something. Majority of the speed signs use K-band. I very rarely have ran into a speed sign that used any other band than K-band. Um, K-band is a tricky band because, and I'm gonna tell you, that's another reason. You don't realize the cops work against you, you know, the government knows a lot of these cars use these radar bands for the adaptive cruise control, for the lane keeping system, for the parking sensors. They use these bands, and so it'll give false alerts to somebody with a radar detector. And that's how it makes it harder for you to react to it and easier for them to say, oh, he, ain't rea he didn't react to it or she didn't react to it, you know. I'm, I'm sitting here with my radar on. I got their speed, but they didn't even slow down. The Escort actually has the ability to filter that out. You see what I'm saying? Like, it it knows if, if it's a false alert. You know what I'm saying? But nine, I will say eight and a half to nine times out of ten, if this thing's going off, you got maybe two to five seconds to react before you run up on them. Um, and just about in every last one of these videos that I'm showing you in this video, you know, these clips of these recordings, what was the cop doing? Sitting there with his lights off where he couldn't be seen. It's called entrapment. You know, they work against you. They're not your friend. You have to protect yourself. So when you take it to court and you, you know, certain places may have laws against entrapment. They may have you know, something against entrapment. And you show where he sat off to the side of the road. And then sometimes it's not even that. It's illegal to sit on, and some of the times I see him sitting on people's property, at the end of people's driveway, at the end of people's neighborhoods, just sitting there with no lights off, sitting in the middle of the road. Let me tell you something. It's not even about me being mad at you or somebody being mad at you because you popped up on them or they didn't see you. What if that person was to whip their car in? Or what if they were towing a trailer and they whipped that dang car in? and they smacked right into you. Oh, now you'll be ready to take them to jail because you'll, you'll try to give them a sobriety test. Look at this. See that cop right there? You see him? That, that Tahoe right there? You will run into cops that do not give you an alert. And I'm gonna tell you You why. need to know about instant on radar guns. You need to know about lasers. A laser detector can definitely pick up a laser. But some of these cars have laser cruise control for the adaptive cruise control. So in this one right here, it picks up stuff from behind, on the side, in front. So if somebody behind me, if their adaptive cruise control is bouncing off my car, it's a potential it could set my laser detector off. That's what I'm saying. You have to know. You have to pretty much. That's what I'm saying. Don't drive like an idiot just because you got a radar detector. Don't drive even faster. It doesn't necessarily give you, I'm not saying drive fast, but I mean, it gives you a freedom to go at least 10 over the limit, at most 10 over the limit, maybe even 12, 15. You got somewhere to be. Everybody runs late to work every now and then. Everybody drives fast. Have you ever driven 55 miles an hour on a four lane highway? You felt like you were driving backwards, didn't you? So you bump it up to about 65, so you can at least feel like your, your car is at least running, you know? Um, some cops are pricks and they're gonna give you a fat ticket for that speeding you know reasonable and prudent speeding uh you might get a following too closely because you know i don't know it just depends on what mood they're in i mean they can snatch stuff out the air they can send that's where the dash cam's coming they can say you were weaving in and out the lane you were making lane changes without turn signals you need to get you a dash camera that's got a microphone on it because it's going to hear the You, 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 you get what I'm saying? You have to protect yourself. They're not your friend. They got a quota they have to meet. Their job is to... Do I have to say it? Or do you kind of get the picture by now? I mean, I've gotten a ticket for factory 10 on my car before. 
That's the legal eight. That's the legal tent down here. No, I don't drive around with 35%. I got 20% on my car. I'm, you think I'm taking it off? No, I don't care how many tickets you give me because I can see perfectly out my car. You're the one riding around with 5% tent on that damn Explorer. So you think you're above the law. Y'all think that y'all are above the law. What makes you think you're special because you can, you're a cop. You know, you're a cop. Or you're a government. You work for the government. You think you can break the law? You think you can drive 25 over the limit, which one more mile an hour is reckless driving in the state of Alabama. 26 or more over the posted limit is reckless driving. It doesn't matter if you're driving in a straight line. It doesn't matter if you're moving with the flow of traffic. If they pick you out, you know what I'm saying? You're the one that's going to get a reckless driving ticket because you didn't know he had a radar. You didn't know what type of radar band he was running. The car's about to shut off. I had to put my foot on the brake. Um, you know, that's one of the things you have to be mindful of, you know, now I'm gonna talk about bands right quick. Um, there's K band, K A, K narrow, K A narrow. There's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it is very specific. Radar guns put out very specific gigahertz of radio bands, and if you have a certain band disabled, because the factory set and certain bands are gonna be disabled because it's configured to for average or most areas okay if you got ka narrow turned off and you didn't even know it and you start you finally you decide why didn't this 500 dollars or 450 dollars radar to pick up that cop he he clocked me and gave me a ticket and wrote the speed down so he got my speed he had to use something to get my speed what was it so you start going through and you start realizing oh i had pop switched off rdr switched off which is radar detector rejection so, you know, cops have things like that in their cars, dude. Radar detector rejection. They have radar guns that, that put out signals so fast that mo cheaper radars can't pick up on. I think that's called pop. I've been, for the past, I've had this radar detector for going on probably 10 months now, and I'm just now realizing that the reason I pass a lot of cops and I don't pick up on a signal is because I didn't have pop switched on, which is P.O.P., and a cop actually pulled me over with this expensive radar detector that I had. And he told me I was doing 63 and, or 62 and a 45. I'm like, how the freak did he clock me? So I started playing around with the app. I had pop switched off. I rolled past that exact same cop the next day who sat in the same spot. You know what I picked up on? What he was using to detect my speed, which was pop. In Oxford, Alabama. You know, Oxford just got a whole sweep of brand new Chevrolet Tahoes. Brand new. Do you think they're still using KA band? They can use whatever band they want to. They can switch them up. They got radar guns that put out different guns very quickly. You know what I'm saying? My, this radar detector, it doesn't, I don't care how fast you put it out, it'll pick up on an X, a K, and a KA band all at the same time. It'll sit there and blurt it out to me. And it'll show every alert on my phone. You know, and if it's picking up on a whole bunch of frequencies, you know what it says? Speed trap ahead. And if it picks up on the same, if it keeps picking up on K band, if it keeps picking up on a radar band or any type of police activity in the same spot, a certain amount of times, you know what it does. It'll label that spot automatically as a speed trap. I mean, there's photo enforcement. It even tells me if there's air traffic, you know, air traffic control or what is it called? I, I'm going to go in here and look right quick. If I can look right here, I'm going to go to the Escort M1. Or wrong, this is the wrong app. This is for the dash cam. Where did I put that app at? Oh, here it is. It's right here in navigation. All right, I'm going to go here. So, as you can see, I am connected to my radar detector. I can go to devices. It is connected. And I'm going to go into settings. All right. Radar settings. You're going to want, you you got things like you can adjust the set. You, everything that you can adjust with those buttons you can adjust on the app. You know, my car's got low tire pressure, which is absolutely fantastic. So as you can see here, you've got sensitivity. You know, you're going to want that to be on auto. Some stuff you don't want to mess with. You know, this is for the brightness right here. I can adjust the brightness. You know, do I want it to be bright all the time or do I want it to be on automatically adjusting brightness? Because as it gets dark, that bright blue light or whatever, you know, it'll show. Do I want it to do scanning bar, which is you saw the words auto say, you know, auto scanning, or it can just say, you know, see right now I'm picking up on a, on a pop right now. I'm picking up on a pop right now. 
and I'm looking around and I actually don't see the cop. He's probably somewhere else. But as you can see, I can choose to lock out the signal or I can confirm the signal and it'll, it'll go away. The bottom right with that little exclamation point, I can hit police. Like if I see a cop just sitting, you know, somewhere and he's he doesn't have any type of radar on, I can actually hit that and say police spotted. And here he goes again. You know, it's popping up another radar. So I'm picking up on this and I'm looking around. I think that was that cop that just passed by a second ago, you know, or maybe it was the same one that was sitting in that spot or I can mute it or just lock out the signal. You know, I can confirm it and say police spotted. Or I can choose to lock it out, you know, and that right there, the reason it keeps going in and coming out, you see how it's going in and coming out. That's that instant on radar. You know, they can wait until they see cars coming by. They don't just sit with their radars on. They don't do that because they know that if somebody does have a radar detector that you know what they do, they slow down way back then. That's what I'm saying. They're working against you. They want to catch you going seven over the limit so they can write you a ticket for speeding and inconvenience your day. They want to pull you over. So they make it harder for you to be able to see them and discover them. You know, and I'm looking at my radar detector right now. I'm going to kind of go on my camera and kind of show you exactly what this thing's doing. You see that red light flashing down there? And you see how it says pop. You see what I'm saying? It says pop. It'll display and, and then it goes away. It might come back on in a second. I'm not sure. But you see how it's got that auto scanning bar? You know, it's auto. It's always scanning to make sure that you're not about to get caught. It's always going to be scanning. And like I said, it's going that light's going to flash red down there. I'm going to go back to the escort app. Um, let's talk about the alert types or radar settings. Uh, let's see. You can choose to have voice alerts on. Do you want it to tell you what band it is? Uh, it'll come over your Bluetooth and say, hey, you know, you got a K band. You got a pop. You got a KA band, you know. You can change the language and stuff like that. GPS filter, you want all that stuff to be on. The auto learn, you want it to be on. You want it to learn when it's getting into false alerts. Cruise alert, I don't really know what that is, but, you know, you can say, hey, you're cruising at such speed. And I pretty much have my, you can go in and set an over speed limit alert, you know. So even if it's not connected to your phone, once you hit that 80 miles an hour mark, which most interstates, people travel at about 80. You go over 80, you're, tra you're moving faster than the flow of traffic. So you need to kind of, I can also change my display color. So you saw how it was blue. I can hit green, red, amber, you know, and like I said, I'm going to go show you exactly that right now. So right now I just changed it to red. But the thing is, you got to be careful with stuff like that. You know, a cop, if he's, if he's feeling like an a-hole that day, well, you're not supposed to have red lights on your dashboard anywhere in your windshield because that's a sign of emergency. You know, I've had I've had that type of stuff happen to me, you know, so you you, you have to fight for yourself. I'm going to go back to the Escort Live app. I'm going to put it back on blue because it's a lot easier on my eyes. Um, you can have it to where it disp displays how fast you're going on the display and, you know, novice or advanced mode. Now we get into the band setting. So you know how I was talking about laser, um, POP, KAK, XTSR, um, RDR, radar detector rejection, um, traffic sensor, or something like that. I think that's what TSR is. Then we get into the band that are narrow, 4321, K band narrow, KA narrow, you know, stuff like that. You want to make sure you have all of that on because what if you have KA turned off? KA band narrow two and a cop is actually using that radar. Well, that's a missed alert. You see what I'm saying? Um, you want to be notified of that's what I was talking about. Air patrol that down there in the bottom right, right there. That I'm talking about, you know, you if you travel, they have more than one ways of being on the ground to detect your speed. You know, they got speed cameras, air air patrol. You know, those escort has a way with the live app, which is what I'm on to be connected to tell you when you're approaching a dang helicopter that's sitting behind the trees, clocking you, and you're about to roll into the biggest, fattest speed trap that you've ever seen. Red light cameras, speed traps, speed cameras, all that stuff. You want to make sure you've got that stuff on, you know. Um, I can choose whether I want it to be an arrow or a dot or a car for my little arrow that moves on the 
the uh, you want to make sure you got visible and audible alerts on and stuff like that. I'm gonna go back in. Let's see. There's Wi-Fi settings. Um, you know, Escort M1. I, I don't have. I really haven't set that up. I, I prefer to just go to the Wi-Fi on there. Bluetooth settings. You know, you can choose whether you want it to delay, which I don't know why you would want it to delay. Um, you know, that's pretty much it right there. And then now we get into the camera. So the Escort M1 camera. So as you can see right now, I'm going to rotate this sideways. I'm looking directly at, hey, let me turn my wiper on right quick. See, I just cleaned my windshield. See there? Um, so it's pretty clear. Now I got to defrost my window right quick. So y'all, y'all can see pretty much how clear it is. You see pretty, you got a, you got a general idea of how clear it can be. Um, and I can also stop the video and I can go back and I can view videos, you know, so I hit escort M1 and I can see all the dates. I can see, you know, anytime you have an incident happen, you know, you want to try to get to a point where you can save that incident because it loop records. So instead of you having to constantly switch out SD cards, anytime I can just hit the download button, like I just did, and it'll take it a second to download, or I can just hit stop. But once you see that, that it's downloaded, you can hit things like uh, save video. I can send it to somebody or something like that, you know. And then local folders is the videos that I've already saved. So I'm just going to first say I'm going to click on a random video. I'm going to click on this one. And I can play. It's just, I don't know. You know, it's, it's I don't, I, I hate being the only person that sees stuff for exactly what it is. The government is trying to, hello there, how you doing? The government is trying to control you. The police are not your friends. You see them parked off to the side of the road. You need to warn everybody you know, hey, there's a cop sitting right here. And another thing is the community radar with the escort system. All your friends, everybody you know, if everybody you know, they drive the same routes all the time. Y'all live in the same area. If you get the same radar detector, you know, you can, when I said you can go in and pinpoint there's a speed trap here, there's a traffic jam, there's photo enforcement, there's a cop just sitting there. Well, even if he doesn't have his radar on, you know, if it's not always on, you're not going to know till you get right up on them. That's another thing. Some, that instant on, you won't know till you get right up on them sometimes. You won't get an alert till you get right up on them. You know, especially with those instant on and pop radars and stuff like that. But, you know, everybody gets the same radar detector. Guess what you got? Oh, they open that app. They get an alert that the cop was sitting right there whether he's running his radar or not. Whether he's actually sitting there clocking traffic or not. You can help a friend out. You know, there's a speed trap or a traffic jam ahead. You can put stuff like that and mark it on the GPS on that location. And all they don't even have to have the radar detector. They just can have the app. Well, you do have to have the radar detector to have the app. But, you know, they can have the app open and won't even know they're rolling up on a cop that doesn't have his radar on. And it'll say speed trap ahead or live police ahead. Live police spotted. You see what I'm saying? So... I'm just going to close with saying this. Protect yourself. You know, you heard it from Malik, Malik Obus. I'm just trying to, you know, the truth is ugly. Nobody wants to accept the truth. Not everybody likes to hear it said that way. Well, I don't sugarcoat nothing. You know, I do speed, but at the same time, you know, I've got to a point where I've stopped speeding. And when you stop doing things that get you in trouble, you know, and you try to go under the radar, well, now they can't get you for speeding no more. So that's, like I said, that's when you need dash cameras and stuff like that. So, you know, you get into an accident. Who is 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 he say she say? Uh, weed all that out. Because you already know when you go to court, you get a ticket for something so minor and small and stupid. You know, they know you're going to come to court to try to fight it so that they can get the court cost out of you. It's a $25 ticket with a $200 court cost. Instead of you just paying the ticket, they want you to come to court because they know it pissed you off bad enough for you to bring your tail down to court. You know what I'm saying? Now you sit in court, the judge is going to take the cop's side. News flash. But if you ain't got no evidence to prove, they're going to take the cop's side. Hello, they're the courts. It's all, they're all in the same system. But you show up to that dang court with all these dash cam videos and pictures and evidence and sound and speed attached to it. 
you know, you, you got stuff showing. If y'all got entrapment laws, you see what he was entrapping, you know, stuff like that. You can get out of stuff or at least get the charge decreased or at least get maybe the ticket dropped, but not the court calls. There's ways. Don't let them just beat on you. You are not the government's little bitch. You, you hear me? So, you know, the police will try to make you bow down to them. I don't bow down to nobody. I don't care who you are, what your authority level is. Right is right, wrong is wrong. You being picky. That just because you're the police don't make you right. Because what you're doing is wrong. You're going after people. You're trying to get money out of people who are just living their lives. You're trying to hide from people. You have to understand the government is trying to hide from you to better protect you. They are not trying to protect you. They're trying to get you. You know, so protect yourself. You know, you want nice things, you want nice cars, the nicer the car, the more eyes you attract. But you got to be ready to go into defense mode when those eyes with the blue lights and the red lights and then the siren, when they start looking at you. And then they pick up that radio and they start telling their buddies to look out for you. You got personalized tags. Oh, that's an easier way for them to go after you. That's another thing. You know, it wouldn't hurt to get one of those RFID blockers on your tag. It's clear, but they may, they would actually have to type your tag in instead of the tag scanner picking it up. And they got those laptops. They're driving with a laptop. They're driving, typing stuff in. What happens? They'll mess around and run off the road. I mean, I'm not saying that to be bad towards the police, but I'm saying, you know, if they're going to go after you and try to get something out of you and me and everybody else that works and busts their tail every day, you can make it a little bit harder for them. You can go into defense mode. Just because he says you were speeding doesn't mean you were speeding. Just because he says you was driving in and out your lane too many of these cars have lane keeping systems now i wish a cop would try to tell me i was weaving in and out of my lane my car won't let me change lanes without using a turn signal so guess what try again buster let's walk out here and see the equipment on this car let me pull the paperwork and the window sticker where this car says it's got lane keeping and now let me show you the video where i was staying in my lane it was you that was tailgating me sir it was you that brake checked me sir it was you that pulled out in front of me sir do I look stupid? Come on now. This has been Maliko Boost. I hope y'all learned just a little bit today. I know it was kind of a long video for what it was. Um, but I it just it, it's one thing that just hurts me. It's 2020 and 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 y'all don't notice, but every year the government gets more and more control over you. You don't have there's not a leash tied around my neck, so you're not about to treat me like a dog. I go where I want to. You know what I'm saying? I follow the law, and if I'm not breaking the law, don't come behind me with the bull crap. Go actually find somebody that's breaking the law. While you're behind me for my window tent being 5% too dark, somebody just shoplifted out of Walmart. You see what I'm saying? While you're sitting at the edge of somebody's driveway or neighborhood with your lights off trying to clock somebody doing 5 or 10 over the limit, somebody just got into an accident 10 minutes down the road. Because of a traffic jam. When you should have had your tail up there directing traffic. Yeah, that's just, that's all I have to say. You know, you take it for what you have to do. Um, you know, it's up to you to protect yourself while you're driving. You know, I mean, you're driving. A lot of times, we're more shocked when we get pulled over. And that's just what I'm saying. You know, I since I've had that radar detector in my car, I have not been pulled over in over a year, which is a major accomplishment for somebody like me. Now, I'm talking about when I say not being pulled over, I've been pulled over for an expired tag like t twice. I mean, my tag was expired, you know. But the cop tried to hit me with, oh, I was speeding just because I was in front of him. We had took off at the traffic light and... Uh, the law, the government, the police, they try to intimidate you. They feel like they're above you. They feel like you're supposed to be scared of them. Everybody's scared to pass a cop. I mean, look, if he wants to do under the speed limit, I'm going to zoom right past you doing the speed limit, maybe even five over, because I have places I have to be. I'm not scared of you. You know, it's not even about being scared. It's the fact that they, they do that to harass people. They do that to make your life harder. And until you understand that, you're going to be constantly getting pulled over. And when they do pull you over and try to pick little stuff out, window tent, expired tag, um, your car is too loud, you know, all that type of stuff. They try to tell you, oh, you know, having all that stuff in your windshield is a vision obstruction. Uh, first of all, a lot of these cars have cameras in them from the factory. 
you know, kind of where they're watching the road for you while you're driving. That's what gives you that collision avoidance and lane keeping system. My Fusion has that. That's right behind the, the rearview mirror. It's a big box in my windshield, you know. So that's when those dash cams come in. You just got to protect yourself. That's all I'm saying. You heard it from Malik, you know, Malik Hoboost. Um, you know, y'all share this video. This is more of an informational video. I know my videos are long and they can get, you can kind of get your attention lost in them, but you can really learn a lot of information because I'm one of those guys that kind of thinks a little bit more outside the box. I see things for what it is. Other people just think, oh, this is normal. You know, but uh, I'm going to post a screenshot of a picture at the very end of this video to close this video out. And I want you to think about what I've said in the 50 something minutes I've been talking. So y'all like y'all subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to share this video, you know, get the word out and go get you a radar detector and protect yourself while you're driving. You know, so, hey, it's a new year. You know, every year you should learn more and more and more. So, you know, you shouldn't constantly be falling into the same traps as last year and the year before that and the year before that, you know. So, you know, we all drive. You got to protect yourself while you're driving. So, I'm out, people. You know, protect yourself. Drive smart. Drive safe. And please, don't think that I told you to go get a radar detector and you go get one just so you can drive like a bat out of hell. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, 74 degrees in here. Heat pump heating. Y'all have a good day. You know, y'all go out, get you a radar detector, handle your business, and do what you gotta do. This is Ben.